You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God of God. Father, be that exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancient of day, as we go in your word, speak to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our hair come from above only in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. I want you to please cooperate with me tonight. And I pray that God will do something unique in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's quickly go to Zechariah chapter 5. I want us to pray, and then we go into the word of God. Praise the Lord. Zechariah chapter 5. I want us to start from verse 9. If you have your Bible, you can open your Bible to Zechariah chapter 5, verse 9. He said, Then lifted up I my eyes, and looked, and behold, there came out two women, and the wind was in their wings, for they have wings like wings of a stalk. And they lifted up their eva, that is the basket, between the earth and the heaven. Praise the Lord. The wickedness are in between the earth and the heaven. There is a woman in the basket. Praise the Lord. Mrs. Wickedness. Praise the Lord. Pastor and said, Then said I to the angel that talked with me, We that do this bear the evil. And he said unto me, To build an house in the land of Shinia, and it shall be established and set there upon our own base. Praise the Lord. According to Ephesians chapter 6, he said, We wrestle not against principalities of power, 
but against the rulers of darkness in high places. Praise the Lord. This is Mrs. Wickedness in the basket, seeking permission to land somewhere so they can perform their atrocity. I want you to rise up on your five feet. I want us to pray. Every basket that Mrs. Wickedness is sitting on, seeking permission to land in my life, to land in my territory, to land in my house, to cause any havoc. For me this year, I command them to scatter by fire, by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us begin to pray. Let us begin to pray. Every basket, every basket of trouble, seeking permission in my life, seeking permission in my wife, my children's life, in our neighborhood, in our family, I command them to scatter by fire, by thunder. In the name of Jesus Christ, every evil basket, every powers of wickedness, seeking permission, to land in my area, to land in my life, to land in my children's life. I command you, I scatter you by fire, by thunder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Permission is therefore rejected. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. The title of our program tonight is Help from Above. Let's go quickly to Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 25. Every power that say no, there is no help for you this year. The fire of Holy Ghost will scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 25. Please, can you put it on the board? Jeremiah 46, verse 25. If you are there, you can read for us. Jeremiah 46, 25. I have a short. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Behold, I will bring punishment on Hammer. Of no, that's what I'm saying. I, I, of no, he said, The Lord of all, the God of Israel, said, Behold, I will punish the multitude of no. Every power that said no, there is no help for you. There is no help for me. This year, 2019, Father, wherever they may be, let the fire of Holy Ghost scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every multitude of no, they have said there is no help for you, for me, for your household. So this year, 2019, Holy Ghost fire, scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us get to pray. Prayer, let us get to pray. Every power, every power, every power of multitude. That said, no help for you, for me, for us in this year 2019. Holy Ghost fire, scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire, scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Second King chapter 6, verse 27. Hold somebody this time. Second King chapter 6, verse 27. Second King chapter 6. Verse 27. If the Lord doesn't help you, what can I do? Praise the Lord. This is a, when there was a famine in the land of Samaria. The women combined together and bring their children to shear and the heat. That this woman, when they have conspired together, he brought his own child and the heat. But it's the turn of the woman to bring her own so that they can eat. And he said, no, he ran to the king. And the king said, if the Lord cannot help you, I cannot help you. I want you to lift your eyes unto the heaven. The Lord, let my help, divine help, for year 2019, let it come from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for your neighbor, pray for your neighbor. The Lord, my divine help, for year 2019, let it come from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 pray the Lord, let my, my divine help, from you only, let it come from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my divine help, let it come from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my divine help, let it come from you and from you only in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. First Chronicle chapter 12, verse 22. Pray, still pray, hold that person. First Chronicle 22, uh, tw chapter 12, verse 22. First Chronicle chapter 12, verse 22. Praise the Lord. 
First Chronicle, are you ready? You can read First Chronicle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray in every day of this year, every week, every month in this year. Let me receive divine favor, divine blessing, divine help every day in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my help, let your help, let me revive divine help every day in this month, in this year, every month, in this year, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Bible says, and they help David every day. I help him until when he become great. Lord, let our help come all of from you. Then send a power in the name of Jesus Christ. In every day of our life, Father, we pray every day in this month, every day in this month, every week in this year, every month in this year, we pray, O oh Lord, let our help come from you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Luke chapter 13, verse 16. Luke chapter 13, verse 16. Luke, Luke, Luke 13, verse 16. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. He said, and hurt not this woman. Hurt not this brother. Hurt not this sister. It's a what? It's a seed of Abraham that Satan has banned for 18 years. I want us to pray. In the 19 years, power must change hand. This is the 19 year. The power must change hand. This is hurt not. Art not, the, God, the Bible says we are the seed of Abraham, and every promises of Abraham, they are ours. He said, Art not, art not, this woman is a, a seed of Abraham, a covenant type of God, and has been banned for 18 years. I don't know where the devil has banned you. I want you to pray. The Lord, I receive total deliverance from. From every bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray aloud. Lord, say after me. Lord, I receive total freedom from us all wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer. Father, is the earth not? Art not this woman, a seed of Abraham, have been born for 80 years. Ah, the 19 year power must change on. in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that has burned us ah, for, for a long time, every power make you barrenness, every power make you unfruitful, every power that have hold you tight, that did not allow you to gain your freedom. Art not. Art not, art not, I command the fire of Holy Ghost to destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My time is going. It's Isaiah chapter 14. I'm going to do a little bit of sermon. Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14. Verse Three. Let's start from verse three. Isaiah fourteen. Praise the Lord. Isaiah fourteen. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I want us to pray. Lord, give me rest round about this year. From every sorrow, from every fear. From every bondage in the name of Jesus, Christ, Lord, give me rest. Run about this year from every fear, from every sorrow, from every bondage in the name of Jesus. Christ. And let us be to pray, Lord, give me rest in the name of Jesus. Christ. Give us rest in the name of Jesus. Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. 
Verse 1 says, let me go to verse 1. And the Lord shall break the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. I want us to pray. The Lord, every rod of wicked, stretch to me. Our Lord, destroy them and the nectars of the rulers. In the name of Jesus Christ, every rod of wickedness, strength unto me, to my household, to my family. Father, destroy. Father, break them into pieces and destroy the nectars of the rulers. In the name of Jesus Christ, prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, every rod of wicked, every Rod of wickedness, stretch unto me, to my wife, to my children, to my household, to us, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, break them asunder, destroy the nectars of the rulers, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because of time, let's be seated. We go. Around. Let's round up quickly, and uh, because of time, I have about 15 minutes more. Praise the Lord. The time is short. What we have tonight is uh, air from above. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 3. Isaiah 41, verse 3. Oh, verse 13. He says, For I, the Lord, the God, will hold the right hand, say unto thee, Fear not. I will help thee. I don't know what is your, uh, uh, what you are fearing about. What you think that is bothering you. I bring to you tonight. The God of heaven and earth is on the throne. He will bring help for you. Where you least expect in the name of Jesus Christ. And every fear and sorrow shall disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. He said you uphold your right hand. He said fear not. I, the Lord, will help you. And your help will come from the Sion. In the name of Jesus Christ. So that is, the, that is the, the word of God for us today. The psalmist says in 121, Psalm 21, 121, he says, I will lift up my eyes unto the heat. From where come my help? My help come from the Lord, which make heaven and earth. He's the one that can make, uh, uh, give us the help. He's the one that can supply and release the help. And I pray the help of God will come in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to take us quickly to 1 Kings chapter 17. I want us to, we know that play, 1 Kings chapter 17. I want to read from verse 1 to 7. Uh, verse 1 to 7. Praise the Lord. 1 Kings 17, verse 1 to 7. And Elijah this, this by, who was the, of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto him, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain this year, but according to my word. Praise the Lord. The verse 2, and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook therein, that is, that is before Jordan. Verse 4, and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So we all know ravens is an unclean, uh, 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 unclean bed. Raven is an unclean bed. That if God can go so low and use an unclean bed to feed the servant of God. He find nobody to use. He find nobody to use at that hour. He went to, to the extent that he went to the ravens and on clean bed to go and feed the servant of God. Praise the Lord. You see, that is ironically very, 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 very what, what do you think about that? Something that is unclean. It tells us that there is nothing that God cannot use to help us. Where you least expect that the help will come. Help will come from there. Because God has positioned the person to help you. Don't ever underrate anybody. Don't ever look down on anybody. You can never tell who the person God is going to use as your helpers of destiny. Elijah will never have his mind that God will go and use an unclean bed to come and feed him. After what has happened in the land, of he ran away for Ahab. But God has prepared something for him. His head comes from above. And he never lacked anything good. Praise the Lord. After the brook was seized, 
He said, go and prepare a widow, a, a widow of Sarah for you to feed you there. She went there, and when, the, when Elijah got there, he met the woman, and they were preparing and gathering stick together so that they can heal, and the stick and the child, and they heal and die. But the woman did not know. She thought that was the last preparation that is going to prepare and die. But God, the infinite God, God that looked beyond the expectation of man, God that never failed one time, she thought that is the last me to prepare and die. But God has sent a helper that will multiply, make the remaining thing that he has to be abundant, to be expand, to be enlarged, to be sufficient for him and his family, and continue to him until that. Praise the Lord. You see, this woman never know that the help will come from there. Let's quickly go there. He said, that, and, uh, when the widow of Cerebus met Elijah, she thought she was preparing her last me. But a simple act of faith, a simple act of faith produces miracles. The woman never know. When she was going, Elijah said, okay, I know you are preparing. Please do my own first. Brethren, a simple act of faith produces miracle. This woman never knew that that is the way God walked. She never had the thought. And when she was going, prepare my home. She never finished. Elijah never he said, bring another message for me again. He said, okay, do bring this. And she never uttered a statement. A simple act of obedience. A simple act of faith produces miracle. You can never tell when God is speaking. When God wants to, somebody that God wants to use for your breakthrough. Don't ever look down on them. And I pray, as she said, he said, she trusted Elijah and gave all she had to eat to him. Faith is the step between promises and assurance. Faith is the step between promises and assurance. Faith is the step between promises and assurance. If you don't take a step, the promises and the assurance never come. Until when you take a step of faith. This woman, take a, she took a step of faith. Because she was preparing the last meal for herself and the, and the son to eat and die. How can now somebody now come and say, okay, go and do my own work. And forget about God. Brethren, if somebody comes to you like that, what is going to be your answer? You will say, no, I have not eat. My child has to eat first. But God said, do my own work. He said, seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness. First, seek ye the kingdom of God first and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be added unto you. This woman is do the things of the man of God first, which is the things that God has ordained to break her. Praise the Lord. Miracle seems so. Out of free for our feeble faith. Miracle, it seems out of free for what? Our feeble faith. It's like it doesn't see, it's a sin that is so far. Because we have a feeble faith, a very weak faith. Miracle is very close to us, but if you don't take a step of faith, the miracle cannot come. Don't ever be too stingy to yourself. When you are holding on to yourself so tight, you are holding on to yourself, not to God. Bring unto me 10% of your tight. I will open the doors of heaven for you, and I will pour upon you abundance. But when you said, bring 10, 10%, praise the Lord. And you said, you did not want to release the 10%. God is a God of principle. It's a God of principle. Take a step of faith and see what God will do. And I pray that God will glorify himself in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. God will glorify himself in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said in this that miracle seems so odd, but every miracle, large or small, begins with an act of obedience. Every miracle, 
large or small, begin with an act of obedience. That is what made Saul to lose his throne. Disobedience. God instructed him to be king over Israel. But God did not instruct him to go and number Israel. He asked, there's somebody that I put in charge of that place. Before Samuel came, he did it. Disobedience. He made his kingdom. An act of obedience. Simple act of obedience produces miracles. When we, when we may not see the solution until we take the first step of faith. You may not see the solution. You may not, you might, this thing might look like there is no way out. But God is there. God is looking at you. He's watching you to take a step of faith. Don't, 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 don't stay, don't stay stagnant. When God says move, move, when you are supposed to move, move. When you take a step of faith, help will come and back you up. Don't ever remain in one spot and allow God to carry you and throw you to the next place. No, you have to take a step of faith. Somebody that is preparing for a, a, to, go, to take an exam in two weeks' time is sweating now, going from party to party, from, from PG to PG. Praise the Lord. He has never took a step of faith. When he's supposed to be reading his book, Praise the Lord. Let us all have this in mind. Miracle, a simple act of obedience, produces miracle. Praise the Lord. My time is going fast. I want us to quickly open our Bible to uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 17. Jeremiah 17, verse 7. He said, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the law is. Blessed is the man that trusted in the law and whose hope the law is. There is no hope any other way but except from God. The strength of a man is bound to fail. The strength of a man is bound to fail. But the strength of God can never fail. The Bible says, lean not your own, your own understanding. Acknowledge him as your source. When you acknowledge him as your source, he will produce, he will bless and return. He will multiply you because there is no other source anywhere. The woman said, if God did not help you, who else is going to help you? That is why the Bible said, don't put confidence in what? In a woman, in a man who can fail any time. But it's not because they don't want to help you. But the resources available, the thing that is available might not be able to reach you or enough for you. I mean, you may look down on them that they don't want to help you. You are asking for 1,000, they give you 200. You'll be looking at this type of person is this man. He's so rich that he cannot give you 1,000. But God, is the one can never fail. Always have confidence in him. And he will not fail you in the name of Jesus Christ. He will not fail you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somewhere, uh, Psalm 50, verse 15. My time is almost up. Psalm 50, verse 15. He said, And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will, de I will deliver thee. And thou shalt glorify me. Praise the Lord. This will take me quickly to 1 Samuel chapter 11. I want us to read 1 Samuel chapter 11. 1 Samuel chapter 11, that is very powerful. 1 Samuel, Samuel chapter 11. If somebody is there, can read for us. I want to read quickly from verse 1 to 9. 1 Samuel 11, verse 1 to 9. Praise the Lord. And then Annas the Amorite came up. And encamp and, and against Jabez Gilead. Uh -huh. Make a covenant with us, and we will serve you. He said, on this condition, I will make a covenant with you that I may put all your right hand. That is the covenant that I wanted to make with them. He will put them out, the right hand, eyes, 
and bring reproach on all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hold on for seven days. Send messenger to the community around the neighborhood and every territory, every city around us. Maybe they can help us. If there is no one to save us, we will come out and serve you. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. And so say. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The Spirit of God came upon Saul. He heard this. Uh -huh. First name. And they sent to the messenger that they are. Uh, the Amorites sent to the, the people of uh, Jabez Gilead. They sent back to him saying, those you shall say to the man of Jabez is cleared. By the time the sun is up, you shall have help. I want us to rise on our feet. Before the sun rises tomorrow, everyone that you are prepared to help me, everyone individual that you are prepared to help me, let them locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, before the sun rises tomorrow, say after me, Lord, every person, individual, that you are prepared to help me before the sun rises tomorrow, let them locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every individual, every person that you are prepared to help us, oh Lord, before the sun rises tomorrow, let them locate us in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want us to pray this prayer. Job chapter 5, verse 27. He frustrates the devices of the craftsmen so that their hand cannot perform the enterprises. Every effort of wicked ones to hinder up the, my divine helper, <laughs> wherever they may be gathered together, either in the land, in the sea, in the ocean, in the river. Father, scatter them by fire, by thunder, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, frustrate every effort of the wicked ones over our life, over our home, over the church of God, over every family, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Our God and our Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord, because you are our time, you are our, you are our, you are our present help in time of need. We thank you, Lord, because our help can only come from you. Father, divinely help us for this year, 2019, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Frustrate every effort of the wicked ones of our life this year, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And let your name be glorified. As we go, continue with us. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Before we take the communion, let us read from 1 Corinthians 11. Um, let's read from uh, verses um, 23. 23 to 32. 
as we celebrate the third week prayer. First Corinthians eleven, the three to third week prayer. Are we there? Okay, let's go. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. And the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke <coughs> and said, Take it. This is my body. It is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it, remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do the Lord's death until he come. Wherefore, whoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Let the man examine himself, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily shall be called damnation himself, not uh, discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many are the sleep. For if the body of the son should not be saved, the way we are saved, but take thanks of the Lord that we do not determine in the Lord. Amen. Let's go again. <laughs> I'll be praying to that chapter, I think, 32. We saw that. Praise the Lord. Praise the King of Glory. God bless us in Jesus' name. I pray that uh, we will not take the coming out unto um, condemnation in the name of Jesus. Rather, we shall take it unto life in the name of Jesus. When we gather like this, God wants us to uh, get better. They say, iron sharpened what? Sharpened iron. Amen. And deep speaks unto, unto deep. So God tonight has brought us to uh, make us better, to transform our lives. Amen? Uh, remember when they gather in the upper room, what happened? God blessed them. Each time there's a gathering like this, God is, uh, God is around. In fact, before we came, God is here. That's why we encourage people, don't come late to church. Come early because God is there. Amen? Wherever you put the mark of God, the name of God, any building, say this is a place of worship, God watches over the place. God watches over the place. And God's presence is, is there. So to, tonight, we left our bed and we are here. I, I pray that you will go back blessed. Highly enriched. Since the, the topic is um, help for 2019, the psalmist said they want to answer. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? Say, my help comes from God, who may work the heavens and the earth, which means he's in control of the resources in heaven and on earth. He's in control of whatever powers are operative anywhere in the atmosphere. So Jesus is in control. In fact, the Bible says his name my boy highly exalted. So at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. You see, God can use anything to heal. He can use anything to deliver. In fact, he, he has he can ask you to go and eat something like maybe purple. Just go and uh, buy purple and eat it, and you'll be healed. Praise the Lord. God can do it. Well, more so, this communion has been dedicated to God. Amen? We have prayed and we have believed God that his power is on this communion. Hallelujah. As we take this communion, let us remember that we are being encouraged to do it often in remembrance of God, in, in, rem in remembrance of Jesus who came to die for us. This is reminding us that we are, we are the body of Christ. Hallelujah. We are what? 
the body. The Bible says we are the body of Christ and his body in particular. So what the Holy Co Communion does is unifies us. It fits us together. First of all, with Christ. We are linked with him again. We renew our covenant as we partake of this communion because we are doing it in the name of Jesus. We are doing it in remembrance of what he has done. It, uh, as it were, it ignites the, 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 that covenant is, is, is being serviced by the communion. Amen? Praise the Lord. I pray we shall be drunk closer in Jesus' name. So it's not, that's why we are told not to take it anyhow, carelessly. We should be thoughtful as we are taking it. Now, secondly, it's also bind us together. I pray we shall be greater in love, stronger in bond, in the name of Jesus. The spirit will forgive easily. God will give us in the name of Jesus. Because it's human to err. It's God to forgive. But then he wants us to forgive very easily. Very, very easily. Because we want, I want to make heaven. You also do what? Want me to make heaven. Is that not? There's room for everybody there. People, all these unbelievers around them. There's room for them. So this coming up binds us what? Together. It binds us with the Lord. You get in the spirit, you don't see it, but as you take of this coming up, you are drawn closer. And then, you see, that is why as you are coming to communion, like if something happens, you see, it happened to AA, I might just leave the Lord. Uh, you just say, no, I don't, I don't, this stuff, I'm not interested anymore, I'm going back to the world. But you that come to the communion, I'll be getting closer to Jesus. The same thing will happen to you. And in fact, you, you thank God, you turn it to a stepping stone to victory. So as you are taking on this communion, you are drawn closer to the Lord. And then we are drawn closer to one and it's spiritual. Something is happening in the spirit that you don't see. And I pray that uh, every one of us be affected positively in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. You see, the end of, the end of everything we are doing is to make heaven. Amen? Is that not? That's the end of it. That might make the kingdom of God. So that's why there is a call for what? For self-examination, not self-condemnation. Does, does it make sense? Uh, you're not saying, okay, um, I'm doing this. Um, because of that, I will not partake of the communion. No, I'm doing this. I will repent from it. But I will say, let the wicked man do what? Forsake his way. Uh -huh. He said, if we say we have not seen what? We deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins and forsake them, God is what? He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteous because he that covered his sins will not prosper. So I don't know what uh, how far we have gone or where we are. Whether you are inside sin or in the periphery just contemplating it. Uh, I want to stop and, and think about it. It's very worrisome. God himself is concerned about you. He wants you to make his kingdom. So whatever, whatever will not allow us to make it. That's why we are being told we should do what? we should examine ourselves. And I pray that tonight we'll examine ourselves. We'll wash in the blood and then we'll be empowered through the communion. So the God can use anything. So he's going to use his communion to empower us in the mighty name of Jesus. There's help available for all of us. Help is available for everyone for everyone, young or old, male or female. Help is available for every one of us. So by faith, let's begin to key in into that help via this communion. Believe God that through this communion, I can receive help in the area of my health. Just believe God for that. Praise the Lord. If there's anything dying in your organs, whatever, is, uh, things are getting, they are wearing out to, or winning or getting weak, Believe God that there will be resuscitation in the name of Jesus. See, that's why we are here tonight. Amen? That we might be rejuvenated. That our spirit man might, be, might come alive. Hallelujah. And our physical strength might be restored um, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to have faith. And I want to have uh, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That he will do it for us. Just by remembering it. Please can I have the communion. Amen, amen, blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power.
bread is there. Can I just buy your heads? Anything you want to God? Um, anything you want God to do for you tonight? Is there any area you need to uh, repent? Is there any area you want to reconcile with your maker? Why don't you ask God for forgiveness? Why don't you ask God for mercy right now? I don't want to take this communion onto condemnation. I want to take the communion onto life. Pray, 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 pray. Lord, this area of my life, I need your vis- Maybe it's anger. It could be anger, anger problem. It could maybe say tell a lies as a Christian. Say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Please forgive me in the name of Jesus. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Could be some wickedness somewhere. Could be tail bearing, gossiping. Could be immorality. Whatever it is, ask God for forgiveness as we partake of this communion. I don't want to take on to condemnation. I want to take on to life in abundance. We want to be renewed. We want to be re- strengthened. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Mighty God, as we take this communion, we repent from anything in our lives. We have for forgiveness in Jesus' name. Have mercy upon our soul that none of us will take on to death but unto life, in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, you're going to uh, say, as I have received of the Lord, now, now when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take it, this is my body which is broken for you, this do remembrance of me, in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Just take the cup, we, we're going to drink the cup in unison, all of us. We are free now to take the cup in the attitude of prayers. I think I can have some voices over there. The children should sing. We're going to take the cup and we're going to take it together. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it. Members of me in the name of God the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost. Touch your body in the name of Jesus. Take away any disease through this com- communion. Resuscitate whatever is dying through this communion. Every part of our body, Lord, let the blood that was shed at the cross of Calvary flush, flush away from our bodies. Whatever is we did not put there in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, our God. Thank you, Jesus. We're worthy. We're worthy. We're worthy. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Th
thank you, Lord, for that. Just thank God. Thank him, thank him, thank him for you allowed to partake in this communion. So thank you, Jesus, for your death at the cross of Calvary. Even that is coming, I draw me closer to you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, let your death be impressed on my, on my heart. Too. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, King of glory, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, King of glory, everlasting Father, we receive, we receive, we receive, we receive, we receive, we receive your thanks, O God. Thank you, Father. Let the God answer prayer. Thank you, O God. Glory be to your name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Pray that this seminar will, uh, will cause us to move from strength to strength. May the power and the blood of Jesus Christ flow into our system. Right now in the name of Jesus. May you be rejuvenated in Jesus' name. Be empowered in the name of Jesus. If anything will die in your body, let it come alive now. If anything will dead, come alive now. In, because of this seminar, we will be healed. Eh? Touch every part of our body. Clean our wombs, oh Lord. Those who are looking unto you for children, whether visit them via this communion. Lord, we thank you because you are here. We bless your holy name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let us rise up to our feet. Hallelujah. Let us rise up. Hallelujah. I just want you to lift up your voices. If you know that your help has already come, just begin to thank the name. Thank the Lord. Magnify the name of the Lord. The book of Psalms 121 says, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From where does my help come from? My help coming from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth the lord of israel neither sleeps he does not slumber he was their help back then he is our help now he doesn't change he doesn't fail come on just thank the lord because you have won the victory lift up your voices and thank him because your help is here for 2019 your help is already here you have already won the victory. The devil has no say because God has the final say. And what he says has done, once he says he has been, has been sealed, he has been stamped. The Lord has given us the victory. Father, we worship you. Oh, we worship you. Amazing God, amazing God, you do my blowing things, amazing God, you Yes, you come through for me. You come through. Yes, you do, God, for me. God, you do, you do my. Amazing God, 
Everybody now, amazing God, amazing God, you do my glowing thing, amazing God, you do my glowing
don't see it. God, you're working. You're moving in the spirit. You're transforming things around God. You're changing our lives. You never stop. You never stop working. No one, no. Never stop. You never stop working. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. If you know that you have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, jump on your feet. Hallelujah. If you know you've won the victory. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Victory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Let the sound, let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. It's the sound of victory.
shout out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's a shout out. Shout. 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 be all the glory. Please open your Bible with me. I'm going to be reading from 2 Chronicles 20. Second Chronicles 20 from verses 1 to 24. It reads, It happened after this, that the people of Moab, with the people of Ammon and others with them besides the Ammonites, came to battle against Jehoshaphat. Then some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Syria, and they are in Hazaz Hazazon, Tama, which is En Gedi. Verse 3. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaim a fast throughout all Judea. So, Ju so Judea gathered together to ask help from the Lord, and from all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. Verse 5, Then Joshua stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem, in the house of the Lord, before the new court, and said, O Lord, God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in your hand is there not power and might, so that no one is able to withstand you? Are you not our God, who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel, and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend forever? Verse 8. And they dwell in it and have built your, you a sanctuary in it for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this temple and in your presence, for your name is in this temple, and cry out to you in our affliction, and you will hear and save. Verse 10. And now here are the people of Ammon, Moab and Mount Sire, whom you would not let Israel invade when they came out to the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and they did not destroy them. Here they are, rewarding us by coming to throw us out of your possession, which you have given us to inherit. Verse 12, O our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Verse 13. Now all Judah, with their little ones, their wives, and their children stood before the Lord. Verse 14. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehazel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benia, the son of Jer and the son of Matania, a Levite of the sons of Aspha, in the midst of the assembly, verse 15. And he said, listen, all of you Judah and you inhabit inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Verse 16, tomorrow 
go down against them. They will surely come up by ascent of Ziph, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeru. You will not need to fight this battle. Praise the Lord. Position yourselves. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Verse 18. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. Then the Levites of the children of the uh, Kohathites and of the children of Korahites stood up the praise of the Lord of Israel with voices loud and high. Verse 20. So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekel. And as they went out, Joshua stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe in his prophet, and you shall prosper. Verse 21. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing, pray, who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of, the, of his holiness. And they went out before the army and were singing and were saying, Praise the Lord, for his mercies endures forever. Verse 22. Now, when they began to sing and praise, uh, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Sire, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Sire and utterly killed and destroyed them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Sire, they helped to destroy one another. Praise the Lord. Verse 24, and the last verse I'm going to be reading. So when Judah came to the place overlooking the wilderness, they looked toward the multitude, and there they were their dead bodies fallen on the earth. No one had escaped. May God deal with our enemies in Jesus' mighty name. None of them will escape in Jesus' name. He will fight for you and me in Jesus' name. Remain blessed. Amen. It's time for us to give thanks to God. Are we excited to be in God's house today? The Thanksgiving, it's an opportunity for us to unlock the gates and the potential that God wants to deposit in us. David was a man who was referred to as a man after God's heart because he understood the importance of Thanksgiving. It is in Psalm 100 and uh, Psalm 100 verse 3, he said, Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not his all his benefits. Has God been faithful to you? If he has been faithful to you, let's, thank, let's, stand, let's stand up and give thanks unto him. It's not of our own knowledge. It's not by our own doing that we're able to see 2019. 2019, we've actually passed the first month of the year. And now we are in the second month of the year. Let's begin to exalt him. Let's thank him for his faithfulness. Let's thank him. Let's give glory to his holy name. Let's exalt his holy name. Let's thank him for the gift of life. God, we exalt you. We thank you. We give you glory. We exalt you. There is no one like unto you. Thank him for his protection. Thank him for his shelter. Thank him for his faithfulness. Let's begin to exalt him. Let's begin to thank him. God, we exalt you. We give you glory. Thank you for the gift of life. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We give you glory. Thank you for the gift of life. Father Lord, thank you for protecting us. Let's thank him for his protection. Let's thank him for making us ill and happy. God, we exalt you. We give you glory. Be thou exalted. We bless you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You. Yeah. 
us to thank God for his provision. God has been the one sustaining you. Sometimes you do not realize this. I, I just want to remove the veil of our eyes. Occasionally, sometimes when we go on outreach to some areas in, uh, in, the, in, in the city, there are several people who are sons and daughters in the land who do not have a shelter, who do not know how they will get the next meal. But you are here from several kilometers, several miles across the ocean. You are here, but you are not a victim of such. It's not as if you don't know where you will lay your head the next day. But God has been faithful to you. He's been sustaining you. He's the one clothing you. He has prov you have a shelter. Let's begin to thank him for his provision. Let's begin to thank him. Let's exalt him. No matter what the challenge might be, no matter what the obstacles you might be facing, but thank him for his provision. Thank him for sustaining you. Thank him for clothing you. Thank him for the peace he has given unto you. Thank him for your family. Let's begin to exalt him. Let's thank him. Let's give him glory. Let's exalt him. Let's magnify his holy name. We give you glory. We exalt you. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for health. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you. Thank you. Father Lord, we exalt you. We give you glory. We thank you. We thank you. We exalt you. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' name, we are thank. Whatever might be the challenge you are going through, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, I think in verse 35, when uh, uh, Goliath came out against the children of Israel, David, as I earlier said, was a man who understood the importance of thanksgiving. And when the way he was able to approach that challenge, he, he, he was able to remember the faithfulness of God and God, how God has been faithful to him. He said he was a shepherd. But when the lion and the deer came, that God was the one that sustained and was able to help, to help him overcome that challenge. And he said that God that was able to sustain him and to help him overcome that challenge is able to deliver this uncircumcised Philistine into his hand. So whatever might be the challenge that is ahead of you, whatever might be that obstacle ahead of you, now through the power of thanksgiving, let's begin to thank God for victory over that challenge, for victory over that circumstance, for victory over that opposition. Because we know the end from the beginning and we know the God who is able to sustain us too. So let's begin to thank him for, for victory over that challenge, for victory over that circumstance. For we know that God will see us too. Let's begin to thank him. Thank him for victory. Thank you for victory. Let's thank you for victory. Thank him. Thank him. Whatever might be that challenge you have, let's thank him because we know it is so. Let's thank him because we know we have overcome. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. God, we exalt you. We thank you. Thank you for delivering whatever might be the challenge, whatever might be the obstacle, whatever might be the hindrance that is ahead of us. We know you have given it unto us. We know, we know you have given it unto us. Let's begin to exalt you. We thank you, Father. We exalt you. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name. Be thou exalted.
Father Lord, we exalt you. We thank you. We give glory unto your name. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for sustaining us. We thank you for doing the things that even we do not know. Thank you because it's of your own, because of your own mercy that we are not consumed. Thank you, Father, for all you've been doing for us. Father Lord, we know that as we have been thanking you, we know that the gift, the, the, the opportunity to thank you will never cease in our board. Father Lord, we thank you for the privilege you have given us to become your children. We do not take this for granted. Father Lord, we pray that as we step forth in, into, the, into, into the newer dimensions which you have for us, we know your faithfulness shall remain up and can abide with us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray that whatever might be the challenge, whatever might be the circumstance, whatever might be the opposition that might lie ahead, we thank you because we know it is solved. Father Lord, be thou exalted. We give you glory. Be thou exalted. For in Jesus' name we are thanked. Praise the Lord. May we all rise as we take the hymn. Great is the faithfulness. Amen.
of God, praise the Lord. Crucified, laid behind the stone, to live, to die, rejected and alone, like a rose, trampled on. By your grace, O oh Lord, you have seen us through the first month of 2019. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we exalt you. We give you glory. We adore you. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, you have been the God of previous years for us. And Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come approaching your throne. We come, O oh Lord God Almighty, looking up to you for 2019. In the name that is above every name, help will arise for us in this year. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord God Almighty, we begin to declare that 2019 shall be the best of years for us. In Jesus' name, forces of darkness will not be able to hinder us. In Jesus' name, we will bring glory to your name. In the name of Jesus, our daddy in the Lord declared, he said, there is glory ahead in 2019. The glory of God will shine and it will shine bright in our lives and in our families and in our churches. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Our prayer points, our pra my prayer points this, this moment is we are going to be praying for prosperity. Amen. Prosperity over our, over our lives, over our families, over our church, over our nation. You know, I have de in, uh, in, in Press Center, I have, declared, I have declared 2019 as year of making gains. And I am declaring it over this, over this body tonight. 2019, you will make gains in the name of Jesus. You will not serve God in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will reward you for every service that you have done in the house of God. Look, some of us, you give to people, you flow out to people, but what you, return, what you get in return does not measure up to what you give. It is, it is, it is, it is you, you give love, you get all kinds of things back. You give your effort, you give your money, you get all kinds of things back. That is ended in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank God for that scripture that we read. The woman for 18 years. Ought not that woman to be delivered? Pastor says, 2019, you will make gains in the name of Jesus. In the 19th year, Pastor, in the 19th year, the, which is what this year is, you and I will make gains to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to stand up with me. Glory be to God. First of all, let us read Psalm 118. Psalm 118, 25. Amen. Praise the Lord. Say, I will make gains in 2019. You see, the word of God says, the word of God says, as you speak into my ears, so I will do for you. We have, the, we have said, we have said, oh, back in Norman, we said, this year, 
please be sure to not say any negative things about yourself. Do not say negative things about your children. Because as you speak into the ears of God, so the Lord will do. As you make declarations to the ears of God, so the Lord will do. I want you to declare. Say it is well with me in 2019. Say it is well with my health in 2019. Say it, well, it is well with my pocket in 2019. Say it is well with my finances in 2019. It is well with my children. It is well with all that I lay my hands on to do. I prosper in 2019 to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Everything that I lay my hands on to do in 2019 prospers to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. I will call for help in one place. Help will arise for me in 200 places. So it shall be for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of love. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Psalm 118, verse 25, he goes like this. He says, save now, I pray, O Lord. O Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. When do you want God to send it? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Are you really sure? Now. When? Tomorrow morning? Ah, pastor, pastor has prayed for us. Pastor said before the sun, I keyed into that prayer. I keyed into that prayer. Pastor, I'm going to, I'm going to declare that before the sun rises tomorrow, help will arise for me. What about you? What about you? You see, you see what you key in into is what you get. Before help arrives, before, before the sun shines tomorrow, help will arise for us. Help will arise for me. If you believe it, I want you to, I want you to slap your chest like this. I say, help will arise for me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, save now, I pray. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, I pray. Send prosperity. Father, in the name of Jesus, why don't you begin to turn that to prayer? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, send prosperity to me. Send prosperity to my household. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord, the scripture says, I have been young and I am old. I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is it begging bread. Oh Lord, God Almighty, send now prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My Father and my Father, in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we begin to pray. The scripture says, as we speak into your ears, so you will do. Lord, we say, now, 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 send prosperity to your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You see, brethren, it, it, it feels very good when you don't have to look at the balance in your account before you spend. How many, how many, how many people know what I'm talking about? When you don't have to, you, you, they, they say this is due, you just write check. They said give this, you just give. You don't, you don't know, you don't, you don't even want to care about what is in the account. You don't know what is there. You don't, because, because why? Because there is more than enough there. Amen. Amen. So it shall be for you in the name of Jesus. Now, when do you want God to send the prosperity? When? When? Okay, pray like you mean it now. Say, Father, send prosperity to me now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord my God, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, you who make a way where there is no way, you who make a roadway in the wilderness, you who make water to come forth from the dry land, King of glory, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, you have put creative power in our mouths, oh Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you see, as we say to your ears, so you will do. We say, now, send prosperity to us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we begin to pray. We shall not lack any good thing in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we serve you in abundance. That is our declaration for 2019. We make gains in 2019. We gain, Father God, from serving you. We gain from our businesses. We gain from all that we lay our hands on to do in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As we declare, so it shall be. As we declare, so it shall be. As we declare, so it shall be. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of lords. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to pray that prayer for our church, for our parishes also. The, our Lord Jesus Christ says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. 
I will build my church. In other words, our Lord Jesus Christ says, you pastors, you workers, you ministers, all I need for you to do is just be available. Leave me to building the church by myself. In other words, finances and all that the church needs, the Lord will provide. I want you to pray for our churches. I say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, prosper our parishes in the name of Jesus. Build your church in Norman. Build your church in South Oklahoma City. Build your church in Oklahoma City proper. Build your church in Midwest City. Build your church in Edmond. Father, supply all of the finances of our parishes. Your church will not lack in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we begin to pray. Men and women of substance. Oh, Lord, we begin to, we begin to, we begin to pray. Bring them to our parishes. Let our parishes prosper. Let our parishes be full in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do it, O oh Father, for your own glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of lords. We appreciate you, Jehovah. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. We are going to pray for our nations. Psalm 122. Hey, Amen. Psalm 122. And I will read from, six, from verses 6 to 7. Psalm 122. Praise the Lord. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls. Prosperity within your palaces. Amen. We are going to pray for our nation. We are going to pray for America. Um, the Lord God Almighty has made you and I to dwell upon this land. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are going to pray that the Lord will prosper this nation. In the name of Jesus, we are going to come against every spirit of confusion against this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are going to pray for Jerusalem proper. We are going to pray for the countries where we come from. That the hands of God will rest upon our nations. The Lord will prosper our nations. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, brethren, why don't we begin to pray? Father, in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we begin to pray that Lord God Almighty, you will prosper our nations. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, prosper America, oh Father, we pray. Prosper Jerusalem, in the name of Jesus, prosper Israel, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we begin to pray. Oh Lord, God Almighty, Father, in the name of Jesus, all nations that wants to impoverish Africa, that wants to impoverish our countries in Africa, Lord, in the name of Jesus, judge them. Oh Lord, every human being that wants to, that wants to impoverish our nations, that wants to impoverish Nigeria, that wants to impoverish our nations in Africa. Lord, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, we begin to pray, judge them. In the name of Jesus, every individual carrying the prosperity of our, uh, carrying the prosperity of our nations to other nations. Father, judge them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise, O oh Lord God Almighty. Help our nations. In the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh Lord God Almighty, we begin to pray. Father, demonstrate your power. In our nations, in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. You see, we have a new governor in Oklahoma. Praise the Lord. I don't know if I have shared it with you before. We knew this, this governor. This governor, we knew him when he was young. When he was a teenager was when, we, when we've known him. He has grown very quickly, very fast. Very quickly, very fast. In business, in fact, the other day I learned, I learned that he spent $4.8 million of his own personal money in the election that they did. This man, brethren, he pays to serve God. Amen. He pays to serve God. The Lord has established your feet in the house of God. Please do not let your feet depart from the house of God. Amen. And as you serve God, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless your children in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you very quickly. I know I don't have a, a lot of time. His father was my pastor for 15 years when I came to this country. Amen. He was, my, he was our pastor for 15 years. And December 1, last year, December 1 of, 20, of uh, 2017, of 2017, he conducted a wedding. And after he, after he came away, the father of the governor, after he came away from the pulpit, he went around and was telling the people. The, the remember, the election was not done at that time. Me, remember also to his son, who is the governor now, is just like Trump. This guy is just like Trump, I mean, as in, in business. He, he never did politics one day. One day, he's just like Trump, just like that. 
And so his father came from the pulpit and went to, uh, went to all of us on the, he says, you are looking at the father of the next governor of Oklahoma. You are looking at the father of the next governor of Oklahoma. You are looking at the father of the next governor of Oklahoma. And what, what happened? That's why I told you, as you speak into the ears of God, as you confess to the ears of God, so the Lord will do for you in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. We have a man in the, in the, that is leading Oklahoma right now who has a heart towards God. I want you and I to support him very heavily in prayers. I want us to pray for him. His name is Governor Steed, in case you don't know. John, uh, uh, Kevin Steed. I want us to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, raise the hand of this man. Let Oklahoma prosper in the season of this man. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, why don't we begin to pray? Why don't we begin to pray? Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, prosper this state. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Oh, Lord, demonstrate to the whole world that you are behind the man that fears you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do this, oh, Lord God Almighty, and let your name be glorified. Thank you for hearing and for answering. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, prosperity comes from you. All forms of blessing come from you. But the scripture says, the psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who has made the heavens and the earth. My Father and my God, I begin to pray. Help will arise for us in Jesus' name. Oh Lord God Almighty, we begin to declare in 2019, we will make gains in the name of Jesus. We will gain as we serve you. We will gain as we do our business. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, our family will make gains. Your church will make gains in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the swarming locusts have eaten, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we begin to declare that 2019 is the year of restoration. Thank you for hearing and for answering. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody is receiving help already. Amen. Amen. Help shall come from the, from the south, from the north, from the east for you, and from the west. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say help shall arise from unusual places. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody went, I gave the pastor some money. And uh, the man said, I don't like you, but God said, I should come and bless you. May that be your portion in Jesus' name. Your enemy shall bless you in Jesus' name. Say a big amen to that. Uh, I don't like you, but God says you what? You come and bless you. That is divine help. Divine intervention. Mm, hallelujah. Uh, uh, the Israelites, they have forgotten everything about uh, redemption, about uh, living slavery, but one day help came for them. Moses just came from nowhere. I said, God said, I could come and deliver you. Ah, may you receive sudden help in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says, when the Lord what turn around our captivity, you will like them that do what? The dream. Amen? When God wants to bless you, it can spring up, it can be planned, it can be promised, but whichever way, God can use human beings. In fact, he can intervene by himself. Whichever way, help is available in Christ. Help is what? Help is available. And I pray that none of us will lack help Amen. this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be permanent, be permanent, what the Lord has done. Can we have some, some music? It shall be permanent. Permanent, it shall be. Come on, now, rest. Permanent. Oh, yes. It shall be permanent, 
What the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent. Oh, permanent. It shall be permanent. God is blessing somebody already. And whatever God does tonight shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, ah, 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 ah. it shall be permanent. Permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, ah. it shall be permanent. Oh, permanent. It shall be permanent. The Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is not a year for psychedelic dance before God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the year to Daguru. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You scatter the place. Let God know that a soul is dancing. Huh? Hallelujah. Okay, maybe maybe you turn the music. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Amen. Come on, rejoice. This is your night. The whole shepherd rejoice. And he got their miracle. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. A power star before him. He's a mighty God. Pass of darkness far before Jesus. A wickedness far before him. He's a mighty God. Forces of evil far before him. Sins of darkness far before him. He's a mighty God. She don't know that there's power before Jesus. Oh, it's a mighty God. 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 Hallelujah. Come on. Come and see you. Come and see. I say, come and see, oh, come and see, come and see what the Lord has done. 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 When you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I'm dancing like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. Winner man, winner man, winner man, winner man. Winner woman, winner man, winner man, winner man. Winner man, winner man, winner man, winner man, winner man. I say, when you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I dance like yes, a winner man. man. When you see me dancing, I'm dancing like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dancing, I dance like a winner man. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. I say glory be to the Lord, honor be to the Lord, glory shall be to the Lord, all power be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah! Everybody lift up Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 For His goodness. Hallelujah! 
For his power. Hallelujah. For his mercy. Hallelujah. For his glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. 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 Glory be Lift him up higher. Lift him up. Papa, lift him up. Brothers, lift him up. Sister, lift him up. Everybody, lift him up. Hey, lift him up. Higher, higher, higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. My God is good. I will lift him up higher. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. God is good. God is good. All the time. I can see your help coming already. Yeah. Amen. Because of our time, we are going to pray. But before we pray, let's share the word. Hallelujah. Why do we need help? Amen. <laughs> let's settle that one. What what? Why do we need help? You see, we need help because we are human. We are we are we are. We are frail, we are fragile as human beings. Amen? Uh, thank God for our health. A little pain on this finger can kill somebody. Praise the Lord. In fact, you don't be comfortable with pain. So we are fragile, we are frail. We are human, so we need help. We are short-sighted. We, we cannot see beyond today. And God knows what is going to happen tomorrow and and. And be, thank God when we sleep, we wake up. Amen. <laughs> Nobody should, can boast of tomorrow. So we are fragile, we are frail, um, as we are human beings. We are living in this earthen vessel. Uh, the, we are not, the body is not born again, it's the spirit that is what? It's born again. So we are living in this body that is fallen nature. So we need help. There's so much demand on us that we need to. We need to ask God for help. We, spiritually, we should be involved. Maritally, we should be involved. Parenting, we should be involved. At work, we should be involved. <laughs> Some people are doing how many jobs? Even two jobs. So we, we, we need help in the name of Jesus. Some of us are facing challenges from uh, home trouble. As you left your home, they are still following you. So you need help. You will not die in Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So as a human being, we have, we, there are powers around us. We, we, we don't see them. They see us. They don't what? We don't see them. So we, as humans, we need help. Tell your neighbor, the Lord will help you. Don't worry. He will help you this 2019. In the name of Jesus. He will help you this 2019 in the mighty name of Jesus. There are, number two, there are evil forces working against us. Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter, chapter 6, verse 12. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Principalities. Against what again? Power. Again? This word against spiritual wickedness in high places. How many categories are there? Four. Categories. These are the people that are fighting against you. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you offend them or not. That is their business. The Bible says, Jesus came that he may have, we may have life indeed. But then, there is the devil that has come to what? To steal, to kill, and to destroy. So we thank God for victory through Jesus. Amen. Thank God for victory through Jesus. Amen. Your help is available intact. Against principalities are what? And against powers. Hallelujah. So there are powers working against us. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 to 20. The prophet said he saw, uh, is it three horns or four horns? He said he saw four horns. And he was asking, 
the angel, what are these horns for? He said that the horn that scatter with, how many people? Jerusalem and who again? Judah, Judah and what? The whole of Israel. Praise the Lord. The horn of the devil will not scatter your home in Jesus' name. Amen. They walk around looking for homes to scatter. So you need help. Looking for lives to scatter. Looking for people to kill. So you need help. Uh, he said, when he looked at them, he said, the, when the angels said, look, what are these people that are coming, all these carpenters? He said, these are the carpenters that have come what? To drive these demons that don't allow men to raise up their head. Ah, your husband will raise up his head in Jesus' name. Amen. Otherwise, you'll be the only one suffering in the house. Amen? Say, men. So that men will not raise up their head. They will not amount to anything. You say, non achievers. Uh, I pray the Lord will help us. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So he said, the, 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 the angels from heaven have come to drive them. I pray that anyone, any demon that have come to set to in your home, they will not allow your husband to raise up his head. That demon be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Their power be crushed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every agent of Satan assigned against our families to scatter our family. May fire consume them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Their power be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. That amen is true. Say, their power be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Their power be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Peace shall reign in your home. Amen. Our husbands, our wives shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. We banish the spirit of poverty Amen. and failure Amen. and lack in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are demons that don't want people to, so, to that want us to suffer and miss plenty. Mm. You will testify this year. You see, we have enemies of progress. They're, they're not demons, but they're what? Enemies of what? Of progress. Each time you want to move, they're blocking you there. They're blocking you. If in Africa, by the time they sell your resort for a they take it and hide it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Or oh, whichever resort you get, you pray, they, 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 for the immigration, they, somebody just carry it and hide it. These are enemies of what? Of progress. They are there. So you need help. They may be very close to you. Your brothers, your sisters, maybe even your illos. I pray that our husband will not be our enemies of progress in Jesus' name. Amen. You say, even your husband. And your wife. So there are enemies of progress. There are those who laugh with us, but they are our enemies. They are there. You may not know. As you are confiding in them, they are just letting the secret out. Somewhere. God forbid that have a quarrel with them. You will hear something that day. So let keep your secrets. Amen. <laughs> Only God should tell your secrets to not to any human being. Because as a pastor, we have had all kind of things. We have had all kind of things. Things that are supposed to be kept secret. By the time quarrel comes, hey, everyone will be filled. So, tell your neighbor, keep your secrets. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Paul said, for a great door of effectual is open unto me. And there are what? Many. How many, how many friends? Many adversaries. As you are here, you are thinking you are not making it, but people are angry that you are here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I, I pray, may God deliver us from adversaries. That is those who are very close to us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number four. There are occupiers of territories. Occupiers of what? Ah, so you don't know. There's no vacuum anywhere. I keep saying it. There's no what? 
completely. Even here, there are radio waves, television waves, everything just flying all over the place. Just capture them. I believe to capture them and listen to them. Praise the Lord. In the spirit world, there is what? There is no vacuum. There's no vacuum anywhere. There are occupiers of territories. We need help to dislodge them so we can move to our next level. There are hierarchies somewhere. Before you can move to the next level, you have to dislodge them. I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Just have at the back of your mind that that place you are looking to occupy is not vacant. You have to drive any, somebody out of that place. You have to drive one demon out for you to occupy it. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That thing you want to achieve, somebody is sitting down on it. And you have to deal with the demon before you take it. Amen? Am I communicating? Oh, sure. That's why we are here tonight. That's why we are here tonight. And there are categories of occupiers. How many, are, how many of them? Categories. Of, no, no, listen. There are those who are holding on to the things that belong to you. What are they holding to? Your promotion. On, inside, on, on that padlock. Amen. Somebody said they, they want to bury somebody, and they, in the burial ground, they saw na names of prominent people in the, in this, in the, one of the, near to the trees in the, in the, in the, in the burial ground. Praise the Lord. Ah, may God give you power to deal with your enemies. Amen. There are those who are holding on to what? What belongs to us. There are those who are sitting on your seat. We are supposed to sit at office. Uh, they are what? They are occupying it. They, put, they, occup they sit on their own and they put leg on your own. They say, over their dead body. And so it shall be. In the name of Jesus. So you are sitting on your seat. There are demonic occupiers of territories. Where you are worshipping, the church you go, there are, there are forces over that, that area. That is why by the grace of God, as his owner pastor, I used to go, we go, I go parishes, amen? We, we, we occupy the land. Praise the Lord. They have not, I don't know if you guys have not come to this parish. We go from parish to what? To parish. We possess the community. Hallelujah. But this time, everybody, everybody will be in Father's name. You do it your own. We'll do it our Amen. <laughs> Pray, we'll, get, we, we'll do it together at the same time, but everybody will do it in his own parish. Hallelujah. We are going to possess the land. He said, wherever the pit of, of uh, wherever our pit touches, that he has given us for what? For possession. So we are still going to do it this year. May God give us breakthrough. You wait and see. God will give us breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. He's coming at the corner. He's knocking. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, First John chapter 5, verse 19 says, He said, We know that we are from God, and the whole world lies in power of the evil one. The whole world has what? Power of the evil ones. We know we are of God, yes. We know where we belong, but the whole world, the whole world, what, lies in the power of what? Of the world. If I describe that as the prince, Paul said, it, that's what? That the prince in charge of the air. The prince of darkness. In charge of what? In charge of that. That is why we have to pray without what? Without ceasing. We have to pray. Pray. In fact, if you can pray throughout the day, go ahead and pray. You need it. There is so much around you. You need help. Hallelujah. You need what? You need help. We need help. We need to dislodge all these powers. We need to dislodge them and possess our possession. And we can't do that by ourselves. We need the help of the Almighty God. 
Hallelujah. All these territorial demons, those who are sitting on your seat, those who are, who are holding what belongs to you, um, you need help. Daniel needed help. So they sent help from heaven to help what? To help Daniel. After prayer, the answers were coming, but somebody hijacked it. Anybody that hijacked your prayer, fire will consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. That was number four. There are positions we cannot get into unless we have helpers. <laughs> Somebody must connect you before you get there. And I pray, as you pray, God will send you helpers. That's what we pray for her. We pray for destiny, helpers, ministry, helpers. You remember uh, Joseph and the butler? Uh -huh. if, if it was not for the butler, they wouldn't have known there was an interpreter of dream in the prison. May God send your helpers. Amen. And may they rise up very, very quickly. Amen. May they never slumber Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, you might think you're at a level. No, the level you are now, when helpers come, you know you have not arrived. How they will blow up what you are doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. You'll be surprised. So this kind of thing exists in this land. I didn't know it. Because said, uh, Send us help us in Jesus' name. That was in Genesis chapter 41. Uh, the, chief, uh, the chief butler spoke to Pharaoh before, David, I mean before Joseph was invited. Without the chief butler, there wouldn't have been what? An invitation. Uh, I, I pray that our talent will not be useless in Jesus' name. Amen. You need someone to connect you to the greed, as it were. You have the power, the line. Someone to connect you. Your house must be connected. Your destinies must be visited even this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your miracles must come in the name of Jesus. Amen. That man, that woman that have the key to what you need, may that fellow release that key in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. There are positions you cannot get into unless you have a helper. Now, how do we get this before we pray? How do we get this help? How do we get this help? Number one, you must know that you need help. But if you don't know it and they come to tell you, please humbly accept it. Huh? Don't begin to criticize. I'm a boy who told you I need it. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are not the mirror of yourself. Amen. You need, at times you need something, you don't even know you need it. Huh? You may not know you need it. So there are people God open their eyes to say, ah, this man, you are sleeping too much. Praise the Lord. Or you are talking too much. You are speaking, you are talking about your husband, about your children, everything. Just let him, and you are speaking to witches and wizards. I pray God will send us helpers. I say God will send us helpers in the name of Jesus. We must recognize our helplessness and the need for a helper. So don't despise anyone that comes to help you. As people, they despise helpers out of pride. Hey, I don't need help. Hey, I don't need that. No, you need somebody. All of us need helps. Some people, they, they, they reject help out of, out of ignorance or out of pride. And yet you'll be suffering. That will not be a portion in the name of Jesus. How to get help? Number two. We must learn to give thanks. Learn to do what? Thank God. Worship and praise God. Give thanks. Worship. And do what? And praise him. For what? For what he has done. Amen? Somebody said, if I, as, as long as I have breath... Not because I have money, as I have breath. Now, when you are praising God, it's not what, it's who. Who makes what happens? When you celebrate who, the what will happen. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. What do you worship and praise God for? Like I said, you do the worship and praise Him for who He is. 
what he has done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do. Is that clear? When you go on your knees, your prayer, don't, ask, don't start asking. Remember the Jesus teaching, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be the name. You must worship God and praise him and honor him for who he is, for what he has done, for what he's doing, and what he's going to do. If you need help, you must exhort him. He's our very present helper in the time of what? In the time of trouble. He hears all our whispering. The Bible says he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask what? Or even think according to what? His power that is working in us. He can use air, yeah, you're breathing to heal you. He can use the water you are drinking to what? To heal. He can do more than you have now. That is why David became greater and greater because he knew how to worship. How to exalt God. I pray God help us in Jesus' name. We all need him. Tell your neighbor, we need him. We need him. It's about who, not about what you have. Hallelujah. Who can provide? Who has provided before? Who can still do it? Uh -huh. Then when you do that, the what you need, this God that you are worshiping will provide it. There is help available. There is help for someone. Then when you, 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 then you ask for direction, what do you ask for? Ask for help. When you get, don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. When you go to God, if you are sick, tell God, I'm sick. I need healing now. If you don't have money, Lord, I'm broke. I need money. Praise the Lord. It's our Father. You don't know. Lord, tell him what you have. Oh, you have to tell him. Let him know that you have a need. That, Lord, this particular cause, I'm having a problem in it. I need to give me wisdom. I need some clarity. I need some direction. Tell him what you need. Ask for direction. Tell him your feelings. Amen? Present your needs before the Lord. And commit everything into his hand. As you are going out, commit it to you. As you come back, do what? Commit everything. Into God's hand. Psalm 37, verse 5 says, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and what? He shall bring it to pass. Then, lastly, obey his instruction and follow his leading. We need to obey God's instruction. Amen? If we need help from God, you have to obey his instructions, you have to follow his guidance. He's leading. And I pray God will lead us aright in the name of Jesus. And as he leads us, we need to follow his, what? His, Jehoshaphat, what happened? After they had praised God, after they had fasted, somebody came up and spoke. And said, don't be afraid. Believe the man of God. You will do what? You will prosper. After discussing with the people, the Holy Ghost led them to appoint what? They appoint musicians. To go into the battlefront, to go and fight an army. That was divine guidance. That was divine leadership. I pray that the Lord will guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. As God will help us, it does not mean we are going to lose our sense of responsibility. Amen? There are things God will want you to do for yourself. So that by the time the blessings come, you will feel some satisfaction. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, is, is that clear? There are things God will want you to do. At times God may say, okay, go and give this out. Or he will tell you, you're not preaching the gospel. Go and preach the gospel. I will bless you. Or we ask you to go and pray fast. So as we go this year, let us be attentive. Let us be what? Be attentive to divine instructions. Hallelujah. And let's not take steps without asking God for direction. Amen? This will be our, our year of guidance. In the mighty name of Jesus. The, the grace he has given us to walk has not been taken away from us. The earth he asked us to replenish. That work has not stopped. 
They ask us to go and multiply, do things, occupy till I come. That has not stopped. Praise the Lord. So as we are being prophetic, and as we are praying, as we are fasting, let us be attentive. Amen? And take the steps of what? The steps of faith. And I pray that at the end of this year, we will have reasons to give God the glory in the name of Jesus. Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 9 says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Hearing thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Those who don't obey instructions, they are performing foolishly. That will not be a portion. Hallelujah. When God says go, what should we do? We go. When he says sit down, we sit down. Hallelujah. So raise up your hand and praise God. We raise up our hand and do what? And praise him. When he says give, we give according to what God has given us. That was Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. The eyes of the Lord is looking for, uh, I pray that the eyes of God will locate you in Jesus' name. That your heart is knitted to his own heart. That you are a child of his. That when you give this, he gives you the money and the miracle, you will not forsake him. Hallelujah. You will not forsake him. Adam and Eve, God gave them a garden. Before you knew it, they disobeyed God. They listened to the, they, they listened to the devil instead of listening to God. I pray that none of us will listen to the devil in Jesus' name. When friends come and say, this thing you are doing, it will not prosper. Tell them it will prosper in the name of Jesus. Once you are obeying instruction, hold on to it, the Lord God Almighty. The God that gives you those ideas, we will perfect them in Jesus' name. We are going to read together Isaiah 41, verse 10 to 4. That's the end of it before we go to pray. Isaiah 41, verse 10 to 14. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 to 14. Isaiah 41, verse 10 to 14. What does it say? Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who are incensed against you shall be put to shame and confound them. Those who strive against you shall be as nothing and shall perish. You shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you shall be as nothing at all. For I, the Lord, your God, will hold your right hand it is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. Fear not, you warm Jacob. You men of Israel, I am the one who helps you. Declare the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. God is saying he's going, he's going to help you. Say, fear not. Be bold and what? And be courageous. Speak like we have had. Speak the word of faith. Amen? Do what? Speak the word. Stand for Jesus. Don't be afraid. Don't be what? Don't be afraid. No, if anything going on, speak about it. In the society, rise up and shine. Pray the Lord. No, don't keep quiet. I don't, I don't keep quiet. I write something on issues. Are you listening to me? You must defend the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? You must rise up, be bold and courageous. God help us. They can do you nothing. If God does not harm you, nobody can harm you. In fact, as you begin to plead God's cause through the media, God will favor you in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, touch what? Not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Let us be bold and courageous and be faithful to the Lord. May the Lord glorify himself Amen. in our life this 20, 2019 in Jesus' name. Amen. Once more we are saying that there is help for you and I. There are powers that will not allow us to rise up, but we are going to defeat all those powers. Because we shall pray, and we shall believe God, and God will help us. Shall we rise? Marababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
That must somebody here you must be delivered from fear. Delivered from fear. Delivered from fear. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. You are losing hope. You are losing hope. God said, Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That's a miracle for you this 2019. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to command fear to leave your heart. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that is afraid, begin to say, Father, any of you that is afraid, will this thing happen? Will God do it? When will I be delivered? Hey, I'm hopeless. Fear. We command it out in the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. By the powerful name of Jesus, we flush out fear. We flush out discouragement from our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Christ is our hope, our very present help in the time of need, in the time of trouble. Is there. He said, Lord, I'm with you. He will do it. Don't be afraid. Believe God. Speak the word as you have been told. Speak the word of faith into your life every day. Believe in God. I say, my Redeemer is alive. He shall rise for me at the right time. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be ashamed. Pray. Masa Tarava. Leto Kate Pote. Mare Toto Soto Toto. We receive confidence and faith for everyone that is shaky and doubtful and getting discouraged. Right now, receive faith. Receive faith. Receive faith. Receive boldness. Receive courage. Our helper is around. Our helper is alive. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Darkness may be there for, 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 for a while, but the light of God is, is shining upon you from tonight. In the mighty name of thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Receive boldness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive courage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive power in the inner man in Jesus' name. Amen. Those who are weak inside, be strengthened now. Be strengthened now. Be empowered now. Be empowered now. Receive boldness now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say, Father, once more, we thank you for the month of February. Go ahead. Father, once more, we thank you for the month of February. We appreciate you, lover of our soul. We give you glory for the month of February. Go ahead and thank him. Thank you, thank him, thank him, thank him. For the month of February, in the name of Jesus, the help we are, we are talking about. That help starts now in the name of Jesus. That help starts today, today, today for you and I in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. That is help, that is help, that is help, that is help for someone in this month of February. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to thank God for it. Thank God for the month of February. Give God all the glory. Give God all the help, all the, all, all the, all the power. Ascribe to him all the power because all the help is in him, in him, in him. He will help you out. In the, as you worship him, he will draw you closer. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Say, Father, we adore you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name. For the month of February, we appreciate you. We honor you. We adore you, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. That is sin in our lives to be difficult for us to be helped. Because it puts God off. So we are going to ask, say, say in the name of Jesus, I renounce any ungodliness. Say that in the name of Jesus, I renounce any ungodliness, any wickedness, any sin in my life. I renounce all of them. And I ask for forgiveness. The blood of Jesus cleanse me. From all unrighteousness tonight, renounce it, renounce it, renounce it, renounce it. You are not my portion in the name of Jesus. Sin shall not have dominion. Satan shall not have dominion over us in the mighty name of Jesus. Iniquity shall not be our ruin in Jesus' name. I am the righteousness of God in practical in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Pray, 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 pray. 
Hey, let the blood of Jesus cleanse you and I from all unrighteousness. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, whatever is not of God in my character, in my life, be flushed away by the blood. I renounce all of them. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. And my body, my life shall be holy unto the Lord. I consecrate my life. And I say, Lord, take preeminence. Thank you, wonderful Father. Glory be to your name. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. We plead the blood, the blood. Come on now. We plead the blood. Come on, sing it. Uh -uh. Come on. I've not heard your voice. Uh -huh. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. The blood. Yes. Drama, come on. Plead the blood now. We plead the blood. Plead the blood. Uh, come on. Do it powerfully. Like a soldier. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. You're not doing. You can do better. The blood of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. Do it all your power. That's all here tonight. The blood must work for you. The blood must speak on your behalf. The blood must cleanse you. Purify you. Oh, the blood. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, Aha. I cannot tell it all. Oh yeah! What the Lord has done for me, I'm not hearing it. Yes, yes. I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me. Shout so I can shout tonight is your night of her. Worship the Lord, worship the Lord. I can shout praise the Lord. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever he's alive. Amen. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever he's alive. Amen. Jesus Christ. The Son of God. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, shout it. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I don't mind what my may say. Hallelujah. I only mind the word of God. Hallelujah. Everybody sing, hey, Amen. Come on now, sing it. Amen. 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 I'm not hearing you. Come on. Shout it. Amen. 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 One more time. Amen. 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 Listen. He will bear you up in his arms. He will cause you to ride on his shoulders Amen. to the top. He said, it's not by power. It's not by might. 
But by what? By my say, your hand have laid this foundation. Your hand shall finish it. Your hand shall finish it. Amen. That project, your hand shall finish it. Amen. That problem shall be solved. Amen. That is hard for you. Amen. That exam, you will pass it. Amen. Your womb will carry your baby. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Somebody. Amen. Shout amen. Amen. Oh. I thought you came for noise. Oh, yes. You left your home now so that you can come and meet Pastor. Amen. Oh, yes. I pray. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the, put your hand together for Jesus. Make a joyful noise. Yeah. I'm really excited. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, Father. Get these prayers on online. Can we get it on, on the on the? Uh, can we get the prayers there? Okay, Father, Father, I lift up my eyes before you. Help me now, before it is too late. Pray in the name of Jesus, Father. I lift up my eyes to the throne of grace. Help me now, Father, before it's too late. Don't allow my enemies to laugh me to scorn. Don't allow your name to be disgraced in my life, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I lift up my eyes before you. Jehovah, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me now. Help me now. Help me before it's too late. You're not praying. Pray like a warrior. Jehovah, I receive help in the name of Jesus. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. The name of the Lord shall not be put to shame because of you. No way. That is help. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. Before it's too late. Jehovah, help us, help us, help us, help us now. Father, help us now. Jehovah, help me now. Father, help me now. Before it's too late, help me now. In the name of Jesus, help me now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help me now. In the name of Jesus, help, 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 help from above. Help from above. Begin to flow into your family. Help from above to flow to the life of your husband. Help from above to flow to the life of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it. Help for breakthrough. Help for success. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Help for finances. God gives power to make one. In the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, Lord our God. Thank you very much, Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Oh my God, that's, I'm an, what is it, percent 50% of 50 something. In the, Jesus' name we are prayed. Hey, aha. Sunday we are prayed. Hey. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. Oh, oh, aha, he's done it. He's done doing it already. Instrumentally, but I stay here. Oh, Lord, very, very, very grateful. grateful. Aha. Thank you. You're not dancing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. And I say thank you. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. If you believe it, sing it well. Sing it well. Oh Lord. Begin to thank it. Rejoice in the Lord. And say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord. Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. And I say thank you. One more time. Oh Lord, I am very Jesus name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. We are getting blessed already. Amen. Help is arriving for you right now. Number four, say, say, Father, scatter and destroy all the forces of darkness assigned to scatter our lives 
our relations and our goodness. Pray in the name of Jesus. All, 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 all. Okay, Father, scatter, destroy all the forces assigned to destroy us, to destroy us. To destroy our relationships, to destroy our relations, our brothers and our sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Well, you can do that if you want. Reba, ba, 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 force of darkness assigned to scatter our lives, our relations, and our goodness. All of them be scattered, be broken, be scattered, be broken, be scattered, be broken. Father, break them, break them, break them, break their backbone. Destroy all the forces of darkness assigned to scatter our lives, our relations, our marriages. Our finances, our health, in the name of our churches, all the demonic power assigned, assigned against your children, against your husband, against your wife. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed now, 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 be destroyed now. Let them scatter, scatter as a pack of cats, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Rabba ba 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 scatter 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 them. Yes, 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 yes. Robobo. In Jesus' name we are praying. Number five. Do you believe God is answering these prayers? Oh, sure. He's answering them. I mean, he's hearing them, amen? And he will answer them. In the name of Jesus. Say a big amen to that. Amen. Number five says, are you still number five? Okay, there's no number on them. All right. Anyone holding on to what belongs to me, re re release them when? Now. When? Now. 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 Release now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Anyone holding on to my blessing, on to my miracle, on to my baby, on to my blessings, on to my promotion, release now. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Anyone holding on to my breakthrough, holding on to my blessings, holding on to my fortune, holding on to my wealth, my divine health. Anyone holding on to what belongs to me, I command you, release them now to your green paper. Anybody holding on to it, release it now to your health, to your sources, to your children, any power. To a miracle. Release, release onto your heart. Ma, ra, ba, 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 ba. Release them now. 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 Pray, 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 pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Pray for your neighbor and say, in the name of Jesus. You sure you want me to shake him? And I will now shake you. Don't worry. Praise the Lord. Pray. Position yourself very well and pray. Anyone holding onto your miracles, onto your breakthrough. Unto your success, to your sound health, to your success, to your victory, to your elevation, to your pro anyone holding on to it, you release it now, release it now, release it now into your life. Release, 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 release now, release now, release now, release now. Anyone holding on to your blessings, release it now in the name of Jesus. Hold on to your breakthrough, to your sound health, to your peace at home. Peace at war, to your promotion, to your wisdom, to know that belongs to you, to your promotion belongs to you. Release it to you. Release now. Release now. Release now. Release now. Release now. Release now. In the name of Jesus. Ah, be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Your promotion. Be released. Your breakthrough. Be released. Your promotion. Be released. Your elevation. Be released. Your health. Be released. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now. Say now. Say now. Be released now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release now. 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 Ho! Masara ba 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 ba. Yese ko te morobo. Maletu sakiha. Ra ba 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 she naraba. Yes. Be released. Your breakthrough. Be released. Your marriage. You release. Your children. You release. Your grandpapers, be released in the name of Jesus. Your son, your sources, be released. Whatever the enemy is holding on to that belongs to you. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Number six, what did you say? Illegal occupiers of our land. 
the land that belongs to you. Anybody that is occupying it, you're going to dislodge the fellow. Say, I sack you. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. Illegal occupiers, we sack you from our land. We sack from our position, our place, and our seat. We dislodge you. Illegal occupiers of our homes, we sack you. We dislodge you now. In the name of Jesus. We sack you, we sack you, we sack you. Illegal occupiers of the thing that belongs to us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Illegal occupiers. Occupiers of our land. In the name of Jesus. Our community. Where we are worshipping. In our parish areas. Illegal occupiers. We sack you. In the name of Jesus. We dislodge you. In the name of Jesus. We approach you. In the name of Jesus. The earth belongs to the Lord. Not to demons. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone sitting on my seat. I dislodge you. In the powerful name of Jesus. Occupy of our land. Of our position. Of our place. Place or sit, be dislodged, be dislodged now, be dislodged now, be dislodged now. Anyone sit on my position, I remove you by fire, by force. Pray, 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 pray. By fire, by fire, by force. By fire, by force. By fire, by force. By fire, by force. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. It's a miracle walking God. It's a miracle. It's the Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle walking God. It's a miracle walking God. I say, Almighty God, I will be no name. Almighty God, I will be no name. A King of glory, I will be no name. The over Jire, I will be no name. He has given me victory, I will lift him higher. I am the over. Jesus has given a victory. I will lift him higher. I will lift him higher. Winner, oh, winner, winner, oh, oh, winner. Jesus, you don't win, no winner. At a quarter, you go win forever. Are you a winner? I am a winner. Is that Lord? Are you a winner? Come on, rejoice in the Lord. Help has come for you now. I am a winner. I said, victory has come for you now. I am a winner. Help, help has come for you. Power has come for you. Glory has come for you. Victory has come for you. Knowledge has come for you now. Winner, 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 winner. Are you a winner? I am a winner. In the Lord Jesus. Show the big hallelujah. Amen. This prayer says, deliver me from what? Internal enemies. Like, maybe like hatred, bitterness, those enemies uh, that are sitting there in our hearts. They are our enemies. Jesus Christ, he came to destroy all, all the works of the... Say, Father, deliver me. Deliver me from internal enemies that are hindering my progress. That are against me. In the, pray in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, whatever is in me that is my enemy, oh Lord my God, by your supernatural power, help me to approach them from my nature, from my heart, from my character, whatever it is, whatever is in me that is my enemy, Jehovah, the King of glory, approach them, 
uproot them, uproot them, uproot them, uproot them, uproot them by fire, by force. Set me free in the name of from internal enemy. And I pray, pray, pray like a warrior. Whatever is in you that is holding you back, that is holding you down, that is weighing you down, that is blocking your way, because them by fire. Because pray, 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 be removed by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Now, must go, must go, must go, must go. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. All the territorial demons that are working against our parishes, we arrest all of them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we dislodge them. In the mighty name of Jesus. We cast them out in Jesus' name. We plead the blood of Jesus. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. Not for demons. All the satanic altar, may they catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. All the demonic churches everywhere casting spell. The spell will go back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. We are free from siege in Jesus' name. Say, this father, this month cost my life to become outstanding and outshining for you wherever I go. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, is there already? Father, this month cost my life to what? To be outstanding, outstanding, outstanding up there. Oh, yes, wherever I go, wherever. I'll shine everybody around me. I'll shine everybody. Your church shall be outshining. Your parish shall be outstanding. New Covenant Parish, Prayer Center, Oasis of Love, our church in Edmund, in the south, everywhere we are, in Mira City, I'll shine, I'll shine, I'll shine, I'll shine. My husband will be outshining. My wife will be outshining. Our children shall be outshining. My parents shall be outshining. This year, outstanding, with quality, with promotion. Pray, pray, pray. Wherever I go, I shall be at the top. In this half of my above. Hell from above. Hell from above. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Masa Talava. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So it shall be. Say, Almighty God, lift me and my loved ones onto higher ground. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, lift me and my loved ones onto higher ground. Onto higher grounds. Onto higher grounds, onto higher grounds, in the mighty name of Jesus. Onto higher grounds, in the mighty name of Jesus. This year, this year, this month, beginning from February, higher grounds. I belong there in the name of Jesus. Number two, I say, Father, fight my battles. Help me to overcome all the challenges of 2019. Fight my battles, oh God, this 2019. Fight all my battles. Help me, help me to overcome. All true this 2019. Help me, Lord. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much, Father. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. May the Lord help you to overcome all challenges. This 2019, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help shall be available for you at every time in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. God shall fight your battles. You shall hold your peace. Number 13 says, Father, help me to be fruitful and to fulfill my ministry. Help me what? To be fruitful and to fulfill my ministry. 29, I pray in the name of Jesus. Help me to be fruitful, 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 fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Help me to fulfill my ministry, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Help me to be fruitful. Ministry. In the name of Jesus, help me be fruitful. In the name of my ministry, pray. In the name of heaven, be fruitful, 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 fruitful. Anyone consider barren, be fruitful, for mentally, spiritually, physically, help me be fruitful. Fulfill my ministry this year by the powerful name of Jesus of Nazareth. You shall be fruitful in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Say, Father, cause us to walk in dominion and victory. Dominion and what? And victory. Nothing will subjugate you. 
in the day, in the night, you shall be at the top. Any wish that come near you shall be consumed by fire. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help me. Help me to be fruitful. Yes. And help me to be victorious. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to walk in dominion and victory. This 2019. Pray, 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 pray. You're not praying. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To walk in dominion and in victory. Dominion and victory. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Say, Father, favor us and cause us to become better. 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 In every area. Favor, favor, favor us, Lord. Cause us to be become better in every area. Backward never. In the name, you not be sluggard. You not slow down. You not be weak. You not faint. You not falter. In the name, the Lord shall be your strength. In the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, better in every area, spiritually, physically, academically, at work in every area. Jehovah will become better, 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 better. Favor, favor us, Lord. Be better, 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 better in every area, maritally, in every area, spiritually, in every area, working for God in our place of work. Master, Father, we shall be better by your grace, by your help. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Be better in the name of Jesus and another. Help us to be better in every area. In every area. Thank you very much. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. You shall be better in Jesus' name. If I shall be the best in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Number 16, the last one says, Father, help us to love, honor, and obey you in all things throughout this year. Help me to love you, Lord. Help me to go on your knees. Daddy, help me to love you. Go on your knees. and re Daddy, I receive help to love you to honor you, and if your trumpet should sound this year, Lord, may I never be left behind, Jehovah. Help me to love you. Help me to honor you. Help me to please you in all things, in all areas. Receive it now. Receive help to honor the Lord. Receive help to glorify the Lord. Say, Father, help me. 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 Help me to love. Help me to love. Help me to love my brothers. Help me to love my sister. To love my husband. To love my wife in the name of to love the brethren by your supernatural power. Help me to love you, God. Help me to love your work, to love your will. Love to pray, love to preach the gospel, love to serve you in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to love you, God, and to glorify you this 2019 in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not slow down. Oh, yes, draw me closer and nearer. Help me to love you. Thank you very much, Father. Pastor, to prayers. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. Begin to thank the Lord. 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 Because help has come for you at home, at work. Help has come to you in the ministry. Help has come to you to know God the more. Help has come for you for victory. Help has come to you. Become agile in the glory of God. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful for what you have done for me. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful. And I say thank you, Jesus. From your heart. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful to thank him. You're going to thank God for help that he has sent to you already. That problem, like Moses said to the Israelites, the enemy you are seeing, shall see them no more. Help shall arise for you. This is a brand new year for you. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new for you and your family. Those challenges, by the grace of God, you shall overcome them. At the end of this year, you shall look back and thank God for what he has done. You're going to thank him. Be good to thank him. Be good to thank him. Be good to thank him. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you for your help. 
Glory be to name. Glory, 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 glory and honor. Thank you, Shaddai. You're worthy of our praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We are doing, go ahead and thank you. Go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and honor him. You're worthy of our praise. Go ahead and glorify him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Just be silent. Listen to God. Just be silent where you are. Don't stand up. Let God minister to you. Yes. Lord is speaking through you. Feel very free to speak it. God is going ahead of us. Feel it in my spirit. So God is going ahead of us to set to everything that comes for this year. Everything means everything. Thank you, Jesus, for the financial turnaround. Thank you for the fruit of the womb. Thank you for marriages. Thank you for divine health. Thank you for what you have done tonight. We bless you, Jehovah. We give you glory. We honor you, Lord. We exalt you. Thank you. Glory be to your name. We highly appreciate you. Thank you, lover of our souls. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, rock of ages. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we have worship. Thank you, Lord. Are you blessed tonight? Hallelujah. Please, can you come? Just come and help us. Let me just say like that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's stretch our hands towards our Father in the Lord. That as he has water us tonight, that the Almighty God will water him. He will water his family. He will bless him abundantly. He will not walk in darkness. The light of God will continue to shine upon his life, upon his ministry, upon his home. Let's begin to pray for him. He has really blessed us tonight. Let's bless him in return. Father, we give you praise for, your, for our daddy that you have used for us tonight. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your anointing upon him. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. It is all free time. I want us to open our Bible to Malachi chapter 3. And I'm going to read from verse 10. It said, bring all the tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there sh will not be room enough to receive it. This is the word of God. Our God is the God of principle, as our pastor has said. When we give to God, God is a God of multiplication. is not a God of addition. You give ten, uh, one thing to God, he can multiply it in thousand times and return it back to you. I want us to package our offering. God has really sent us help from above. 
But it's left to me, it's left to you to key into it. It's our choice. So let's give our offering to God in order for the blessing that we have received to continue to overflow. And I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Let us package our offering for the Lord tonight. And let us raise it up as we pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you because you are the one that gives seed to the sower. Thank you for blessing, Lord, blessing the works of our hand. Out of what you have given unto us, we brought this little. Father, accept it in the name of Jesus. Everything that is lack in our life, Father, supply tonight in the name of Jesus. We are ever we need help as an individual, as a family, as a church. Father, because we are here tonight, release help from above unto us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we ready to give unto the Lord? Can yeah. we stand to our feet? Can we stand to our feet, please? Hallelujah. So today is um, 2nd of February, and um, today is our pastor's birthday. Can we celebrate our pastor in the house? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So... Okay, okay. Any day in February is our pastor's birthday, praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. So on that note, we're going to be singing happy birthday song to him. Happy birthday to you. So we're going to be singing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Lord, what shall I render unto Jehovah? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Jehovah, all I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall we say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. For your goodness, thank for you, your kindness, thank you, Lord. hallelujah. All I You make me wonder, oh, I wonder, 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 oh, I wonder. You make me wonder, oh, I wonder. You make me wonder, oh, I wonder. Somebody say, Baba, Baba. Let me hear you say, Baba, Baba. Let me hear you say, Baba, 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 Baba. 
ba 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 together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I accept our offerings in the name of Jesus. And destroy the voters for us. Jehovah God will see fresh ideas to make it in this land. Lord God, we shall not do somebody else's job. We shall not waste our time. We will be led perpetually by you. We will lay hand upon we will prosper this month of faith. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Uh, our parish in Oasis of Love. Uh, okay, the youth ambassadors. Is that the youth program? Oh, okay. All right. We're born to manifest uh, destiny or oh, distinction. Okay. Oh, to manifest distinction. Then it's 6 3. All right. What is the date of uh, 23rd? Do you have this with you? All right. 23rd, uh, 2019, 5 p.m. So, Saturday. So, let's, it's going to be in the church, uh, church premises? The church building? Okay. All right. Yeah, the suit is there, 1120 suit. Um, five. What is it? Five, five or five S? Fives. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the Port Bolivar, Midwest City, 73110. All right. So for more information, call what number name? 816-3548. So God bless you as you go. Saturday, what date again? 23rd. What time? February 5 p.m. So let's endeavor to be there. Youths, please take note of that. God bless you. In Jesus' name. So if you don't have this, please can I just take one and encourage Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in your church. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. I'm reading Psalms 20 from verse 1 to 4. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee heart of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy bond sacrifice. Grant thee according to thy own heart, and fulfill all thy counsel. Shall we pray? 
Everlasting and the gracious God, only one of you is doing that. Lord, we thank you for this meeting. That Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration and praises. For you alone deserve to be worshipped. You alone deserve to be honored. You alone deserve to be adored. Now and forevermore in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you for this wonderful meeting. That Lord, we thank you that you do not allow the evil ones to prevail over your own meeting. That Lord, you didn't allow confusion. You didn't allow commotion. You didn't allow running elter skelter. Jehovah, Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. Jehovah, Lord, your word says that weeping endure for night, but joy cometh in the morning. Jehovah, Lord, this morning, Jehovah, Lord, give us galloping joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us uncommon miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise and surprises give unto us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. That you, Lord, as we go, that you, Lord, into the world, Jehovah, Lord, this race of life, don't allow the enemies to defeat us in the mighty name of Jesus. Every disappointment in our lives, Jehovah, Lord, turn it to divine appointment in the mighty name of Jesus. The secret code to success, Jehovah, Lord, please reveal unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, Lord, as we go, we ask for divine assistance. Jehovah, Lord, come and send helpers of destiny to, uh, def, helpers of destinies to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, Lord, guide us, O Lord. Lead us, O Lord. Direct us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, Lord, settle us as we go in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, Lord, don't allow the sun to strike us by day, nor the moon by night. Be with us. Guide and direct us now and forevermore. For in Jesus' glorious name we have prayed. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. See you at the top in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs>